Welcome to CJ. These were the very same words used to first welcome you to your new home, to this beautiful place right here in the heart of our city. In your classrooms, you did more than learn the curriculum set before you each day. Here you met teachers who inspired you to think in new ways and push you toward your greatest potential. You can probably easily remember some of those favorite moments in class or those times when a particular teacher's care and passion helped set you on a course for what now lies ahead of you. Gathering spaces like the CJ Cafeteria became places to spend some downtime with friends, to talk over the day, to help each other through challenges, and to share some laughs and celebrate special milestones. Go Eagles, wow. I can still feel the energy in this room from when many of you gathered for our amazing pep rallies. You all were part of the excitement, welcoming the others to CJ to the hosted events like the Hoopla STEM Challenge, the Discovery Days, and our open houses. Still, others can remember the Eagles uniform and that amazing rush when you and your teammates faced competitors on this very floor, putting it all out there as a team. Lights, stage, music, and acting. The CJ Auditorium was a second home to many of our performing arts students. This place holds memories of the hours of rehearsals and set building resulting in outstanding productions, Christmas concerts, plays, improv, and musicals. Here you cheered on and encouraged friends and classmates as they took the stage for those amazing CJ talent shows. Perhaps you were one who actually took the stage during your time here. This is where each one of you became our newest graduates as you received your diploma last May. This special place, our welcome center, reminds me of the smiling faces, members of our staff who were here to welcome you into the CJ experience and serve you during your time at CJ. OSS, guidance and more, those who were here to support you and cheer you on along the way. Here it is, ministry and service, the heart of our community. You have our gratitude for the many hours that you volunteered in serving CJ, others in our Dayton community and beyond. And thanks too for those who spent so much time in making the retreat experiences so rewarding. Here in at Emmanuel Church, you gathered as a class and as a school community, united in giving praise and thanks to our God. Together, we prayed for each other, so powerful. We prayed for guidance and protection. We offered our hopes, struggles, and petitions for a better world. Home sweet home, Roger Glass Stadium, home of the Chaminade Julianne Eagles. You were the freshman class that helped us open this beautiful space and the first to enjoy it for all four years. Hours of putting in work for practices and competing wearing that CJ uniform. Celebrations, school picnics, and of course, those Friday night football games, a celebration of community for everyone. No one knew that that unexpected day in March would be your last day as a student on CJ's campus. Still, nothing can take away the experiences you've had in these halls, in these classrooms, in these spaces. This place will always be your home and we will always be your family. Stay in touch, the door is always open. Continue to be the light, CJ. God bless and go Eagles. We, the faculty and staff of Shamana Julianne Catholic High School are so very proud of you, class of 2020. Congratulations on your perseverance, your amazing growth, and your accomplishments. You have truly been the light to CJ. Thank you for your positive leadership.
Well done on achieving your goals and accomplishing what you set out to do. Savor your accomplishments and dream big. To every member of the class of 2020, you will forever be in our minds and in our hearts. Good evening, parents, grandparents, family, friends, and special guests, and of course, our graduates. Welcome to the commencement exercises for the Shamanah Julianne Catholic High School Class of 2020. On behalf of our faculty and staff, the Board of Trustees, and the sisters, brothers, and priests of our founding orders, the Society of Mary, and the Sisters of Notre Dame de Namur, I thank you for joining us this evening. While we have much to celebrate, we join all of you in disappointment that we can't be together in person. The members of the class of 2020 have sacrificed so much, but you've also achieved so much and you have made history. Your teachers, your coaches, and all of us at Chaminade Julianne are so proud of you and are so grateful to have been part of your journey. Our celebration tonight with the members of this class represents the results of hard work, perseverance, struggles, tears, laughs, late nights, early mornings, and maybe most importantly, lots and lots of prayer. God has called each member of the class of 2020 for a special purpose. And these young men and women have spent time preparing to go forward to make God's goodness known in every place and in every age. Therefore, it is fitting that we begin our celebration as we do each day at Chaminade Julianne with a prayer. We've asked Mrs. Peg Regan, teacher and chair of the language department to lead us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. As we gather here tonight, we pray for the Chaminade Julian class of 2020. We thank you, our good God, for all they have experienced these past four years. Years filled with laughter, accomplishment, happiness, disappointments, growth, and maturity. We thank you for blessing them with loving families who have supported them throughout their lives and made sacrifices for them to be part of the Chaminade Julianne community. We thank you for the gifts and talents you have given to each member of this class, which they have discovered and developed and used in the classroom, on stage, in the gym, the pool, or on the field, and most importantly, in service to your people. As they prepare to move into the next stage of their lives, we pray for guidance for them. We pray that they will always sense your holy presence in their lives. We pray that they will always know you are with them, even when things seem most difficult. And we pray that no matter where life takes them, they will remember that Chaminade Julianne will always be their home. We ask this through Christ our Lord and through the intercession of St. Julie Biart and Blessed William Joseph Chaminade. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now I introduce Peyton Burroughs, a member of the class of 2020, to share some reflections with her classmates. Hello 2020 and the CJ community, and welcome to the graduation of the class of 2020. For those that don't know me, my name is Peyton Burroughs, one of the most recent graduates of the class of 2020. I think you know I put quotations around that term. Now, I'm standing here today with hopes of honoring my fellow classmates and the legacy we are going to leave behind. I feel as though I can safely say that when anyone thinks of the legacy of the class of 2020, the mind goes to how we didn't really finish our legacy. We will always be known as the class that got robbed. It started with our senior trip way back in March, then our spring sports seasons, our prom and senior dinner dance, getting to tear that last number from the countdown board, having a fun little senior drive around and picnic, leaving those final laughs and some tears in the halls of CJ, celebrating our baccalaureate mass, and most importantly, moving our tassels right to left while bumping elbows with our peers next to us. To those that are not members of our Chaminade Julianne class of 2020, that is how we will be known. But I know us a little differently than that, and I'm here to show you with how I see my brothers and sisters in our own CJ legacy. Beginning with freshman year, we were the first group of students 
to step foot on and play in the Roger Glass Stadium and Eagle Field. We are the first to have that blessing all four years. In my mind, as just a lowly freshman, seeing the powerhouse athletic abilities and talent of my classmates, I knew that this is how we'd be remembered after our time here was complete. Our determination, intelligence, and character was prevalent right away. We would hashtag be mercy CJ, but not on the field. Moving on to sophomore year, our freshman year qualities carried through, but our new predominant legacy was baseball state champions. We made our mark at CJ that would hang on the gym walls forever. With a freshly renovated building and championship in our back pocket, we were ready to hashtag be the change CJ. By junior year, our accomplishments were really stacking up and it was time to shine through our service commitments or ISJRP. The class of 2020 didn't just complete service for the grade, but almost every single student in the class went above and beyond those requirements by huge numbers. We began to make our mark beyond the walls of CJ, and I believe that this is where God started noticing our gifts were needed in a much greater setting. We carried hashtags show the love CJ with pride, and that is something that surely cannot be forgotten. Along with our second baseball championship, our multiple stake track championships, Vega and performing arts concerts, productions, and competitions, and even our Poetry Out Loud run. Senior year, our legacy became how we finally shaped into the profile of a CJ graduate and how we used our own CJ role models to become ones of our own. The class of 2020 capstone projects was something that Sister Dorothy Stang would have been proud of herself. My brothers and sisters could be found everywhere throughout the community, even across the nation, truly working for justice and change in our world, just as Sister Dorothy would have wanted and done. To show you just how ambitious and active we were senior year, 94% of the class submitted college applications by November 1st this fall. This past year, we were called to hashtag be the light CJ, and I think we were quite successful. Even though I just listed all of these amazing things that could fulfill our legacy, it still comes back to how our final year ended. But it's not the things that happened to us that we will be remembered by. It's how our class responded to these obstacles. This is our class shirt. It quite literally says, the one where they graduated. God has quite a funny sense of humor, but there's no mistakes on our class shirt. It's actually quite perfect for us. Like I said, the big man saw that as early as junior year, we were ready for bigger and something more. The class of 2020 was the only class that could have handled what we did. Our work in the classroom and in the community proved that our graduation into contributing members of society, compassionate people, and service-oriented people occurred way before second semester of our senior year. The strength, ambition, Intelligence, creativity, and persistence learned from our time in high school is what the class of 2020 will both carry into our future to honor our fellow alumni, as well as leave behind in our legacy for those coming after us. If you hop on CJ's Instagram page, you can still see all the different colleges and majors next to each senior's name. Some of us will be your doctors or teachers or engineers and even some military soldiers and I'd feel both lucky and blessed to experience any one of these possibilities. I'd like to conclude by saying thank you to each and every person that helped provide both myself and my class with the resources to become who we have. To our families, friends, communities, CJ faculty and staff, and everyone else involved, we thank you dearly. This is the time of the class of 2020, and we take this challenge with strength in readiness. We have three special student awards to recognize this evening. The first is the Gerard Fuzzy Faust Award, given to a senior who exemplifies school spirit. Many of you know that Coach Faust was an exemplary teacher and a booster of spirit and service for Chaminade and Chaminade Julianne High Schools. This annual award is given to a student who exhibits those same ideals of Mr. Faust of dedicated service and enthusiastic spirit at Chaminade Julianne. Coach Faust had an appreciation for life, as does tonight's honoree. That appreciation reminds us to be kind, to be humble, and to be generous. Coach Faust exhibited these qualities very well, and we believe our honoree tonight does as well. 
We are proud to give the Gerard Fuzzy Fowl Spirit Award to Peyton Burroughs. Our second student award tonight is the Mike Trainer Book Award. This award is given to a graduating senior who throughout his or her four years at Chaminade Julianne embodied the intellectual spirit of Mike Trainer, our friend and principal at CJ from 1999 to 2004. Mike was a 1962 graduate of Chaminade and later pursued degrees in English, education and administration. He was committed to Catholic education serving more than 35 years. As a student, a teacher and administrator, he came to embody the lifelong pursuit of learning and an unending thirst for knowledge. Among his many legacies for CJ was the belief that a student's success goes beyond a GPA, a class rank, and a standardized test score. It was Mike's vision to see that we were called to nurture the intellectual curiosity of each student and to see our intellect and theirs as a gift from God to be shared in pursuit of God's kingdom. The honored graduating senior is in the process of becoming a lifelong learner who is service oriented, is a person of compassion and integrity, a person of faith, and a contributing member of society. We are pleased to recognize Madeline Hofstetter as this year's Mike Trainer Book Award winner. Our third special student award to be given tonight is the Founders Award. As you know, the brothers and the priests of the Society of Mary and the sisters of Notre Dame, Daniel Muir, own and sponsor Shamanah Julianne. Members of these orders and the larger Marianist family through their ministry at the school work to implement the missions of St. Julie Billiard, the founder of the Sisters of Notre Dame, Daniel Muir, and Blessed William Joseph Shamanad, the founder of the Marianists. Both St. Julie and Blessed Shamanad had specific charisms that were implemented in each age by the persons who joined these two religious congregations and worked in their schools. For both, Mary, the mother of Jesus, is a model for all of us. Mary, the woman of faith who was Jesus' first disciple, the woman whose Magnificat inspires us all to work out our plan of faith together while respecting and working for the recognition of each person's dignity. The Founders Award goes to a senior who through his or her daily living of Christian life exemplifies to all of us the unique and the common charisms of these two religious communities. We are pleased to recognize Maria Wiseman as the winner of this year's Founders Award. Good evening. In accordance with the requirements of the State of Ohio and the Archdiocese of Cincinnati, and with the consent of the faculty trustees, the Marianist, and the Sisters of Notre Dame, Dana Muir, diplomas were conferred to the following Shamna Julian Catholic High School graduates in May. I am pleased to present to you now the class of 2020. Catherine Maria Allaire, Alexander Zamudio Alvarez, Sarah Elizabeth Arnett, Austin Scott Baker, Maxwell Alexander Baldwin, John Jameson Banks, Sarah Rose Benson, Catherine Elizabeth Bishop, Elizabeth Catherine Blackshire, Michael Thomas Boyd, Dylan Lewis Bradshaw, Nicholas Ryan Bridget, Dion Lashar Bruce, Jordan Anthony Bruggeman, Anthony Noah Bernica, Peyton Elizabeth Burroughs, Jordan Elijah Kamen, Austin Martin Carl, Kelly Shea Carmody, Lindsey Grace Carter, Joseph John Castellano, Annie Rose Castengay, Philip Louis Chagoyan, Caroline Macy Chalk, Mari Canice. Clark, Ian Plassad Cormier, Logan Ray Curtis, Sullivan Matthew Dean, 
Shamari Sheree DeVance Dyer. Kelsey Elise Dickey. Julia Nicole DiLoretto. Morgan Elizabeth Downey. Daniel Allen Eason. Trance Belial Enders. Abigail Michelle Fight. Jovan Marcel Fletcher. Kari Tanel Ford. Caleb Neil Fowler. Katerina Nicole Fry. Padrig David Gallagher. Jeremiah Ajak Gar. Brandon Albert Gibson. Sean William Gideon. Kaylee Elizabeth Gilbert. Havana Mackenzie Glover. Sebastian Diego Gongora. Micah Campbell Graham. Christopher John Greek. Stacy Ann Green. Michael Keith Gruhat. Agnes Elizabeth Ludwika Marie Giesling. Elizabeth Alejandra Hale. Jayla Cheyenne Harper. Connor Patrick Hartley. Calvin Lee Hatcher. Sophia Kathleen Hawes. Mia Renee Haywood. Markel Jaron Henry. Marquise Jalen Henry. Jacob Michael Hyatt. Kamari Jalen Hill. Madeline Quinn Hofstetter. Sarah Kelly Hogan. Cheyenne Raki Hoosier. Chase Evan Howell. John Andrew Huffman. Cameron Allen Jackson. Sydney Ann Jackson. Dylan Wyatt Johns. Benjamin Shea Johnson. Quincy Janae Johnson. Jesse Ray James Common. Leah Sophie Keller. Kayliana Maria Keys. Julia Cecilia Kenny Bell. Justin Matthew Kintz. Benjamin Paul Neblick. Elizabeth Ann Coles. Samuel Carter Coles. Arthur William Kramer. Beta Catherine Krupa. John Michael Lander. Timothy James Laner. Ariana Nicole Lewis. Nicholas Lauren Machuca. Lamaria Legold Mack. Schaefer Frederick Marks. Zoe Elizabeth Mason. Terry Shanae McCann. Aaron Helen McGraw. Mallory Cecilia McGraw. Keegan Thomas Meehan. Madison Gail Meixner. Sean Joseph Menker. Eric Stephen Miller. Logan Charles Miller. Christopher Ryan Miner. Emily Starr Molina. Eve Carolyn Monahan. Tania Yvonne Moody. Aiden Burns Morningweg. Conlin James Morningweg. John Michael Mull. Cooper James Mullins. 
Marina Abigail Benitez Murcia, Andrew Joseph Murray, Elizabeth Catherine Murray, Trey Lucas Myers, Liam Matthew O'Keefe Adkins, Kyle Matthew Peters, Casey Marie Phipps Rainey, Jasmine Danae Potts, Jeffrey Scott Rains, Larry Cesar Ramos, Jordan Reese Ramsey, Courtney Lauren Red, Elizabeth Geneva Reeves, Ryan Michaela Rippey, Lance Aaron Roberts, Terrence Justin Robinson, Sonia Rodriguez, Dominic Michael Rouge, Robert Walker Shineman, Jacob John Schlangen, Joshua Scott Schneider, Zachary James Schneider, Samuel David Schwager, Elliot Davis Selig, Joel Richard Seitz, Lauren Ashley Shoemaker, Casey John Seifert, Nicholas Michael Simpson, Madeline Rose Slayball, Dylan Scott Snyder, Laney Grace Sorg, Greta Josephine Spees, Sierra Nicole Stahl, Jacob William Staub, Michael Alexander Staub, Caitlin Shea Stewart, Anastasia Bianca Stowers, Elizabeth Shadera Tagbo Nwashakwu, Broderick Allen Taylor, Yaneli Teo, Joseph Terry Thomas, Mia Faye Tiller, Andrew Philip Tillman, Anthony Tyler Toole, Aubrey Alexandria Trimbach, Larry Wayne Turner, Jordan Gabrielle Varese, Hillary Ann Vaughn, Peter Eugene Wade, Ella Rose Waldsperger, Olivia Catherine Walusius, Takaya Kaylin Watson, Raymara Atiz Watson Cunningham, Seth Adam Weber, Maria Corrado Wiseman, Logan Andrew Widmore, Deverell Everett Williams, Matthew Jordan Willis, Bethany Alyssa Wilson, Joseph Alexander Wilson, Ramia Lanice Wilson, Dylan Thomas Whitman, Andrew Caillou Wong, Amani Eva Wortham, Isaiah Eric Wortham, Juliana Grace Yoss, Samantha Aliyah Zajak, Lucy Isabella Zielinski. Congratulations, graduates. At the end of this ceremony, graduates, please refer to your CJ email account for a special message. It was more than 60 years ago that tonight's guest speaker walked the halls of our school and here discovered his love of acting. He was a member of the cast of Arsenic and Old Lace and participated in all the variety shows. 
As a student, he was involved with intramurals, student council, and the debate team. After graduation, this member of the class of 1958 headed to New York City to pursue a career in acting. He credits many people who helped him along the way on his journey. His dream became a reality with now more than 65 feature films and numerous roles on television series to his name. He continues to value his family and his faith and is a champion for social justice. And now I am pleased to present Martin Sheen, known during his time at Chaminade as Ramon Estevez, to share words of encouragement and hope with you, the class of 2020. Hello, I'm Martin Sheen, AKA Ramon Estevez, Chaminade class of 58. And I am honored to share a few thoughts for this special celebration for the Chaminade Julianne class of 2020. First of all, congratulations with every good wish. I was delighted to learn from Mrs. Bonner that our film, The Way, was a source of inspiration during your retreat last year. In fact, The Way is the most satisfying film I've ever done because it became a journey of self-discovery. And I believe The Way can serve as a great metaphor for the next phase of your journey. Who could have foreseen what lay ahead for the class of 2020 when this year began? And who can predict where the next bend in the road will lead? Of course, no one knows. So now what? or as Jed Bartlett used to say on the West Wing, what's next? Well, I only know this for sure. There are risks involved in every choice, but the greatest risk is to make no choice at all out of fear. We are a people of faith, but if what we believe is not risky, we're left to question its value. Fear is useless. Faith is necessary. Courage is everything. You're being called in a different direction to an unknown destination for a mysterious purpose that can only manifest itself if you personally commit to it. So let your pilgrimage begin with the courage to trust that commitment, because only then will you come to understand that we are all responsible for each other and the world, which is exactly the way it is because consciously or unconsciously, we have made it so. And while none of us made any of the rules that govern the universe, we do make all the rules that govern our own hearts and minds, and we are all beneficiaries to those wonderful, heroic fellow pilgrims from every corner of the world who hasten to assure us over and over again that the world is still a wonderful place despite our fears, and we're not asked to do great things. We are asked to do all things with greater care for the environment and for the very least among us, and that is what renews the face of the earth. And now a few last thoughts at no extra cost. Remember, the only things you can carry with you on pilgrimage are the things which you cherish and are willing to give away with love, including your precious time and talent. And remember this, your destination is not a place. It is that deeply personal realization that comes from uniting the will of the spirit to the work of the flesh. And finally, You'll know you're headed in the right direction if you see a sign that says, caution, one heart with courage is a majority. Again, congratulations, class of 2020. Be the light, be safe, and buen camino.
Ever faithful God, your mercy is without measure. The treasures of your goodness are without limit. We thank you for the favors you have bestowed on us through these men and women of the class of 2020. As we thank you, we appeal to your compassion. Stay close to them, guide and protect them as they leave us for the next phase of their journey with you. Prepare them for the rewards of the life to come. May they now and forever soar on eagles' wings. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, our Protector, and our Friend. Amen. And now the class of 2020 will recess to the Shamanah Julianne alma mater. <laughs>